So this is uh, just a brief overview of few of the tests in the upper limb. Uh, if time permits, maybe later on we can have a uh, few more of the tests that uh, we have not included in this session. So um, I think I'll ask uh, maybe the e I'll start off with the easiest one and probably ask Dr. Amurto because uh, he his name came up first, right? Yes, so generally yes, sir. in OSCE you will have something like this stations and then the test will be broken up into different segments. Each of those will be allocated uh, uh, not often equally uh, depending on the importance of each of the questions that are asked. So based on that, uh, uh, how you are marking this is done. So let's start off with the Amurto. Yeah? Yes, sir. You can understand, sir. Yeah. All the questions are there. Uh, sir, name the test. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, how to perform the test? Mm -hmm. Name any three conditions where the findings will be altered. Sir, so the three point relationship of the what elbow, the lateral condyle. Sir, uh, so the three point relationship of the elbow, that uh, lateral condyle, medial condyle, and the uh, olecranon. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So, no specific name for the test. You are basically evaluating the point of the elbow. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, you're right in that sense. Okay. There's nobody's yes, name given this. It's just called three point relationship test. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Then the next question. Next question for yeah. you. Sir, how to perform this test, sir? How do you perform? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we have to ask the patient to uh, flex. Uh, we have to stand beside behind the patient and ask the patient uh, to flex the elbow. And uh, we have to mm -hmm. mark the bony prominences. Uh, first, we have to uh, pal palpate the olecranon process. Then we have to move towards medially the first prominent most point is the medial epicondyle and lateral is the lateral epicondyle sir yeah okay so we were talking about the epicondyles yeah yes sir so quickly can you tell me hmm? uh sir uh first sir it is the olecranon process we have to palpate then sir we have to ask the patient to supine uh, and pronate and if we move our fingers medially, we will get the medial epicondyle, uh, the first bony point. Or else, sir, we can also come down from the uh, humerus, the uh, yeah, along the first the... bony point on the medial side, the medial epicondyle. Yeah, along the ridge on either yes, side. That's that's more reliable yes, than yes, supinating and pronating you do for the radial head. That's for the lateral side, not on the medial side. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So the third part of this question. Uh, three name three any conditions. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, one is uh, if there is posterior dislocation of the elbow. Uh, okay. Sir, sir, if there is a fracture of the uh, medial or lateral epicondyle, sir. Okay. Epicondyle fractures are quite unusual. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. So maybe maybe okay. lateral one you could say. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then? So that's all, sir. Okay. So maybe an old child, an intercondylar fracture also, it can happen. Yeah? Yes. Sir. Right? Okay. Okay. Fine. So, Amurto, just read up all this, what's written up on the slide. Just read it up for your benefit of everybody. Yes, sir. Sir, it is a three-point bony relationship test in elbow. The tips of medial and lateral epicondyles and the olecranon from iso uh, form an isoscalis or scaling triangle in elbow flexion of 90 degrees. Lie transversely in a straight line on, on elbow extension. Condition where it is distorted. Number one, fracture medial condyle and epicondyle. Number two, fracture lateral condyle and epicondyle. Three, intercondylar fracture of humerus and posterior elbow dislocation. It is maintained in case of supracondylar fracture of humerus. Yeah. So maintained in the sense, what exactly happens in supracondylar fracture of the humerus to this 
the own universe. that's done in the patient sitting right yes sir yes sir done in the session sitting sir that's roos test r o o s ha sorry sorry sir yeah. i made a mistake i made a mistake sir yes sir that's yeah. the roos test okay yeah that's the roos test and the right test is also there sir where uh, mm, the arm is abducted i think that is the arm is abducted mm -hmm. or hyper abduction is done and the we the examiner stands behind the patient and uh, one arm is kept over the uh, shoulder and then we check for the radial pulse okay not very sure anyway um i'll just go through this uh, test okay so you are yes, right sir. about that yeah the, the upper limb tension test of lv okay so we'll see how it is done yeah so anubhav can read this just to get an idea there is adsons and then there is modified adsons also okay sir in adsons test uh, scaling maneuver uh, indication is uh, thoracic outlet syndrome at scaling uh, seated arms resting on the knees radial pulse is first palpated take a deep breath extend and turn the neck towards the affected side note any change in the pulse trying to pinch the subclavian artery by contracting the scale so that uh, video is... that you saw was something similar to this right yes sir the head is turned to the same side yeah yes sir and in uh, the other one modified modified at etson's test indication is uh, thoracic outlet syndrome at scaling so what does a stand for it's assessing thoracic outlet syndrome that doesn't matter It's thoracic okay. outlet syndrome. It is it is same as above except turning the neck away from the affected side. Yep. So basically, you do turn the other side as to extend the elbow and ask him to take a deep breath and hold it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the other test is the tension test of LV, upper limb tension test of LV. Okay. and uh, read this how it is done with the patient supine yeah the shoulder is abducted wrist supination and extension mm -hmm. shoulder uh, goes lateral rotation elbow extension and neck lateral flexion away or towards the test side yeah so something similar but, but done in supine upper, position yeah something similar except that the rotation may be much more here you are almost rotating 90 degrees isn't it from yes, the sir. abducted abducted position then again you are extending the elbow and tilting the head to the opposite side yes, yeah sir. so maybe just to take a note of this not a very commonly or routinely done test yeah okay yes sir Okay. We'll go on to Dr. Ghosh now. 